نحمده ونصلي ونسلم على رسوله الكريم ما بعد فاعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم زين فاعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ومن شر حاسد اذا حسد بارك الله لي ولكم في القران العظيم ونفعني واياكم بالايات والذكر الحكيم استغفر الله لي ولكم ولسائر المؤمنين واستغفروه انه هو الغفور الرحيم سبحانك لا علم لنا الا ما علمتنا انك انت العليم الحكيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقده من لساني يفقهوا قولي رب يسر ولا تعسر وتمم بالخير وبك نستعين يا فتاح يا فتاح يا فتاح صدق الله العظيم وصدق رسوله النبي الكريم الامين السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته so inshallah we don't have a time for the full fledged khutbah so there is this one hadith that inshallah I want to share with all of you a very important hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam that maybe we have heard before Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said la hasada illa fitnatain there is no room for jealousy in Islam jealousy is something that is so disgusting that it is totally impermissible in Islam you're not allowed to be jealous from someone but he said that there is no room for jealousy in Islam illa fisnatain except in two things so number 1 he said rajulun ataahu allahu malan a person whom allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given a lot of wealth fasallatahu ala halakatihi min al haqq and he is exhausting himself in destroying that wealth he is exhausting himself in spending that wealth fil haqq in the path of the truth he just want to get rid of all and the language here is very interesting for sallatahu ala halakatihi he is exhausting himself in spending all of that he just want to spend it all he can't even look at it he just wants to give it all up he cannot hold on to it he wants to give it all up fil haq for the sake of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when you see that kind of an attitude in someone then you should say you know what i'm not jealous of his money i'm jealous of this attitude of spending i mean how can he have that kind of attitude how do you get there how do you want to give up all of your money how is it so difficult for you to hold on to your money and it's easy for you to give it up because what is the case with most of us it's difficult for us to spend our hard earned money and it's very easy for us to hold on to our money especially when it comes to fil haq especially when it's come to when it comes to spending in the path of the truth You know fundraising can be like pulling teeth out of our mouths. You know for me to give a 100 pound forget about 100 pounds. For me to give a 25 pounds towards the building of the masjid or helping out a madrasa or a dawa organization can be really really difficult. But when I go to Apple store then it's just a phone that I'm buying. Then it doesn't hurt. then no balance sheet come into my head then i don't know i do not think that this money could have been used better or i could have used that money to pay for the necessary expenses of my children i don't think like that no accounting comes into my mind no balance sheet come into my mind i just say it's phone and i just buy it but when it comes to spending for the sake of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala a masjid representative comes representative comes and stands here and ask us and request us to give some donation you know 5 pounds 10 pounds towards the masjid so that we can help the masjid and all of us all of a sudden we become certified accountants you know all of us we start thinking where do we need that money i need this money for this reason i need this money for that reason this bill that bill all of a sudden our financial balance sheet just roll before our eyes you know it's like we just log on to our online account and start doing our accounting while sitting in the masjid while sitting in the masjid when this announcement or this kind of announcement is made and we can think of all the reasons why we should not spend money fil haq for the sake of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
But this person that we should be jealous of, he is someone that when an opportunity comes to give for the sake of Allah, not for himself, fil haq for the sake of Allah, he just gives. It's like he is on fire. He just wants to get rid of all of his money and he doesn't want to hold on to any of it. Prophet ﷺ said, when you see some kind, when you see someone like that, you should feel jealous of him and it's permissible for you to be jealous of him because that's why that's how he wants to spend his money for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And finally, the last part of the hadith, Prophet ﷺ said, the second person that you should be jealous of, at Atahullahu al hikmah is someone that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given a lot of wisdom. So the first thing that we learn here is that just like our wealth, our money comes from Allah Allah gives us, right? So our money comes from Allah. We don't earn it. Similarly, hikmah, wisdom also comes from we don't earn it. We don't earn our wisdom. So when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives someone a lot of wisdom, what does he do with that? Number one, فَهُوَ يَقْضِي بِهَا He judges by means of that wisdom. He lives his life in accordance with that wisdom. Here we are learning the difference between knowledge and wisdom. I think we should conclude that's quarter past five, quarter past one. So the first thing he does with his hikmah is that he lives his life in accordance with that wisdom. And second thing that he does, النَّاسِ He teaches people wisdom. First he lives by it, and then he teaches other people wisdom. What is wisdom? I'm just going to define it, then we finish. Wisdom is not only you have beneficial knowledge, but you also act upon it. So this is some kind of a person that we should be jealous of. He's someone who lives by hikmah, who lives by wisdom, and he also instills the love of knowledge and the love of practicing that knowledge into other people. So we sincerely ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants us understanding. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us of those who spend for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as much as they want, as much as, who spend for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala selflessly without even thinking about their own, uh, you know, desires and motives. And may we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us of people of wisdom, make us of people who inspire other people to act upon their wisdom as well. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us united in this dunya, may Allah reunite us in the hereafter. Alhamdulillah.